Do you want warm weather, a beautiful beach, and yummy guacamole? In this video, we're gonna share our recommendations for a quick trip to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. You'll wanna listen till the end because that's where we'll share the one fun, free, extraordinary thing that we did that we're definitely gonna cherish forever. All right, so before we get on to the recommendations, you guys need to understand what our goal was for this trip. So you know why we're recommending what we're recommending. Recommendation number one. Stay at Barcelo Resort. One of the main reasons we loved it is because you really got that local feel. Most of the people that were staying at the resort were people that spoke Spanish. All right, so we just landed in Puerto Vallarta, and as you can see by this face, we were very, very tired. So when you got to the airport, there was someone there to pick you up, and that is awesome when it comes to Mexico, because if you've ever been in Mexico, you know that people are always trying to get you to buy something or take their transportation, and it can be really stressful and frustrating. And we held true to our word to my grandma. The first thing that we did in Mexico was drink a margarita. Um, they, they offered free margaritas to everybody coming in, so, so it's good. We're heading to our hotel. Anytime you could have tacos that were freshly made and you could watch them roll the flour and all of that stuff that they, they do. They even had like a cool little press that they used. Though. Yeah. They were legit the authentic tacos. So you could eat in different areas and then there was restaurants that you could choose from as well. Oh my gosh, the Spanish restaurant there is so good. Seriously, like the best food I've ever had and the wine was really good too. It's my wine. Recommendation number two. Do things locals do. So you want to get massages where the locals would get a massage, which means they'd probably go to one of their friends down the beach a little bit. And the reason why I say it like that is because we we're going to get a massage actually at the resort and we're like, there's got to be somewhere cheaper you can get these. And we asked them and they are like, no, nowhere. But actually, like right down the little beachway after you step out of the private beach area, there's a little hut. Well, they have like three different massage places where they give you a massage for like 20 bucks per hour. You have an ocean view. And they're just very sweet, so do that. Another thing that the locals were doing when we were there were just coming out to watch the sunset. They would walk down the cemented path and they would stay out there and watch the sunset. And it was a beautiful sunset. It's very romantic, so you should definitely do that. There's a little iguanas, too, all on the path. Oh, Are yeah. they iguanas? Yeah, they're peeping out from all the different holes. Yeah, they're, uh, they're not little. They're, they're big. No, they're big. We learned that iguanas swim, too, by the way. They were swimming in our pool. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, they were. I forgot about that. Another thing that locals do is they take the public transportation. It's cheaper, but yeah, it's definitely a way, way more, obviously culturally immersive experience, but it, uh, you meet a lot of interesting people. Recommendation number three. Explore downtown Puerto Vallarta. So downtown Puerto Vallarta, we felt very, very safe. So you can walk the boardwalk area and take a picture where it says the Puerto Vallarta. That's a fun thing to do. You can watch the ocean. They have a bunch of restaurants down there. You want to make sure that you try coconut because they have coconuts that they're selling all over the place. Get a fresh coconut, have it cut for you, and drink it with your friend. It's really fun, or your spouse, or whoever. You just drink it by yourself. Is that all I am to your friend? <laughs> Another thing is there's areas where they're selling things that are handmade or their own goods in different market areas. Yeah, we actually missed the shopping area walking on the boardwalk. We walked over the top of the boardwalk and actually walked right by it. But later on, we went back and actually found the area. It's kind of nestled right in between, right as you're going over one of the bridges. Um, down there, there's actually quite a few shops. Recommendation number four. Negotiate for everything. But first I'll walk up to people and I'll tell them how much do you want for this item? And then they'll say, you know, like some, we'll say 10, 20 bucks. 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 10, 10 bucks. 
Um, <laughs> Let's it's Mexico. Mexico. It's ten bucks. Okay. It's a definite strategy. Let's just kind of make, break it down. So you always ask, how much do you want for this? You wait. They tell you, and then you say, what's the best that you can do? And then you let them lower it on their own, mm -hmm. and then you. He usually goes at like fifty percent of whatever they said, which is very low, but. Just pick something. I like to find out where they're at. You know, if you if you kind of really undermine them, they're not gonna be that offended. I mean, and now we're gonna share that free, fun, extraordinary thing that we talked about at the beginning of the video. Okay, so this is my favorite part of the trip because we got to hold a pelican, a real life pelican that lived in the ocean. He wasn't a, a, like a, a team a domesticated one. pelican. He was actually. A wild pelican. We named him Oscar, and how we found out about him is when we walked down that little path next to the resort, uh, a guy that was at one of the restaurants, he, I guess he was nice to him, and the pelican got used to people, but he still lived out on his own life. You know, we liked interacting with the locals, they liked us, Oscar tolerated it in doses, but towards the end he was kind of like, all right, I'm done. You know? <laughs> we really got the vibes. Like, at first he was very fine, he's like, okay, hold me, whatever. And then after a while he's like, Nope. Uh -huh. You guys need to leave. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> your welcome is worn out. So he bit me and um, it didn't hurt. It actually was kind of funny, but I knew it was time. I'm like, okay, bud, I'll leave you alone. Take a nap. See you later. Yeah. I got to hold a sea urchin for the first time mm -hmm. and that was awesome. Uh, Ian jumped off there. So that's the thing that he did with other people, locals and stuff. They jump off from there. And I was not about having it, no. <laughs> but I'm scared of that stuff because I'm always afraid I'm gonna jump off and there's gonna be like a pipe and stab me. <laughs> this is the fear that I have. Now you know a good place to visit, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and some things to do for a quick trip there. If you like this video, please let us know by hitting like and comment, tell us anything, and subscribe so that you get all the content. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you at the next video. Bye.